So I just got home. I was in the States yesterday shopping. What a, what a farce. I was supposed to take my daughter for her birthday for the weekend. All kinds of things happened again, so we had to cancel. So I decided to take off on Monday and go by myself. So of course I did some damage again, but I wanna redo my bedroom. Not redo, just refresh it. I want to, I had a lot of young girlish glam um, pieces in this room and it was pretty while it lasted, but I'm kind of tired of it because I'm not a little girl, but I like that look of pretty and glitz and, you know, pink and diamondy. So because I did my downstairs a little bit more modern farmhouse with a little bit of shabby chic, I thought I would put some shabby chic up here. And so far the bed is looking good with the frames above it. I'll show it to you again in case you didn't see that video. So this headboard goes with everything. I know there's got some diamond glitz in it, but that's okay. And the picture frames with the flowers is fine. I love this picture with the high heel shoes, but I wish I could put it somewhere else, but I have no room for it right now. So I really want this mirror that I had DIY'd or repainted. I want that on the wall there. If I had my way, I love this mirror still. I like my makeup table. I wanted these shelving um, pieces so bad when I saw, you know, like a lot of YouTubers like five, six years ago, Miss Liz Hart had them and I thought, oh, it's so beautiful and it still is nice. I just have to clean them up. I've got a lot of junk going, a lot of makeup all over the place and I wanna clean it up. So I am, what I'm gonna do, I know I'm adding more stuff to the wall here, but I have the shelf that I had sort of made and I thought it would look pretty with a shelf with some hooks and just like hang some decor on it, make it a little bit more shabby chic, vintage look. I even made a little sign. It doesn't say vintage, it says cottage, but I like that. I like that, those um, sayings, you know, on the signs, cottage, vintage, farmhouse. So what I'm gonna do is probably get rid of all this makeup and like see the glitzy um, paper t um, Kleenex holders, all this makeup, these containers, I'm gonna clear them out. And I got a really nice thing here for the table just to look less messy. All these palettes sitting here, I don't know why I have them here. I use one of them. I love them and I forget about them anyway. So I might as well put them in my, in the Alex drawers. I don't know what I'm gonna do on this table. I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is cause I, I have to have somewhere for this TV um, connection here. This is just a little jewelry box. Of course, mirrors everywhere makes it look very glam, doesn't it? But uh, for this, I mean, I like this, this glitzy thing here, but I'm gonna put a white wooden one that I had just purchased. It's actually a charger plate. And what I'm gonna change do, around the flowers, maybe add different pots. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep pink in here, if I'm gonna put a little bit of lavender and white. You know me, I like everything white. And then it looks too blah. So I have a bit of black in here, so at least that has a contrast. What I thought up here was, these were Tiffany boxes from the jewelry I bought a long time ago. So I'm gonna take them out and I'm going to put white um, peony flowers. Just lay them in the jar. Just tidy up things. Should look good. I need some pillows, more pillows. I got these pillows at the back here. I had big, big uh, European shams uh, pillows, I should say. And what I did was I, I uh, bought these covers at Ikea and they were really reasonable, like $7.99. They have different colors, I think, and I got white. And I know it's a lot of pillows, but it looks pretty. And I need two more pillows beside this main white one. I had tried out my buffalo, the beige buffalo check ones, and it's okay, but it's a little bit, see it's hard, right? Because I've got this glitzy headboard, but I don't care, I'm gonna just find something and add it to it. I'm gonna go downstairs and get all my things that I had just bought. I know a lot of the Canadian people that follow me get upset because there's no Hobby Lobby 
you know, Target here or the stores that I go to in the States, but your Americans, you Americans, will you know all the stores and you love them and you're lucky that you have all those great decor stores. We have a few nice ones. I mean, if you live downtown, there's more, but here up where I live, there's a Home Sense, there's a Winners and there's a Marshalls. So I do a lot of shopping in those stores and a lot of the things are the same in the States. Of course, Hobby Lobby, you can't. You really can't find the stuff here, so you're gonna have to make a trip up to Hobby Lobby, Niagara Falls Boulevard. So before I start showing you everything, I'm gonna show you a few of the carpets that I bought. I've been wanting one of those um, carpets with this kind of worn out look, and I wanted a runner for my kitchen, and this is all that I could find. I can't find them here for some reason, unless I wanna pay a fortune at Wayfair. So I got a smaller version for my kitchen, and hopefully this works out. And I got this little jute mat at Hobby Lobby. It was $20 regularly and I got it for half price. And I'm probably not gonna use it as a carpet. I'm gonna use it as like a runner, something just to throw over the table, different occasions. This little carpet I got at Home Goods. So the first thing that I got at Hobby Lobby was this arch, this wooden arch, and it was 40 and it was 50 percent off so because it was wall wall decor day or week so i knew it was the week of the wall decor i sort of keep track one week it's all etc and the next one is the floral so this was a great find and i'm going to put this in my bedroom above a shelf hopefully so that was the first thing i just love it i just love this distressed farmhouse, shabby chic, whatever you want to call it. I don't have any style. I just have like a mixture. I have DIYs, farmhouse, not really old farmhouse though. A lot of real, real farmhouses really almost broken down, um, mixed with new, but I love the look of it. I mean, I don't live in a farmhouse. I live in a, a small detached home in Canada and the farmhouses that you see on you know Instagram and Pinterest they're massive and they're beautifully decorated and they probably have uh, millions in the bank so that's the first item so I'm going to start with I'm going to go with Hobby Lobby okay so these little corbels I found they were a great price they were what Two two seventy five each, so regularly twenty two dollars. So it was on that clearance at seventy five percent clearance, and I didn't know where they were. I was looking all over. I found them in a shelf somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So I got two of them. So you can you know use them as decor or bookends. You can use them this way or that way. So I got two sets of those. Love 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 this piece swirly swirly I don't know what you call it a swirly design and it was 22 regularly so I got it for 11 and it's gonna go somewhere in my bedroom on the wall above the TV maybe I've I've seen this before in Hobby Lobby and always wanted it but I didn't know where to put it because you know me I have to put things on every wall every inch of space so this is a really good deal and it's really pretty I saw this on um, um, what is it, an Instagram post from a lady. She owns a strawberry farm called Penton Farmhouse. And these in her living room and they look beautiful. Okay, tell you quickly what I made. I found this frame once at a, at a thrift shop. It was dark brown and I painted it white, distressed it. And then inside I, I, I put the letters cottage. And look how cute that is. That's going in my bedroom somewhere too. And I think the frame cost me $2. Okay, let's go to the next store. Because I can't remember what I bought at Hobby Lobby. I didn't get that much. I didn't really go crazy, but I got really nice things. Oh, I'll show you what I got at the Christmas tree shop. And I got another one of these charger plates that I already have that I use for my table. And this one was $7.99. It wasn't on sale. But I'm going to put my perfumes in my room. I'm going to place the perfumes on top. I thought that would look really nice. Okay, then the other thing I got at that store, it was high up on a shelf and I spotted it. I have eyes like a hawk and there was one left I couldn't reach it. I had to get somebody tall to come and get it for me. And I think it's just like an organizer box. It was $8.99. And look at this 
beautiful detail on the front. This design with the little knobs, so it kind of looks like a drawer. So I think I'm gonna put this on my makeup table, put all my brushes and things in there, make it look tidier and more that look, shabby chic vintage look that I like. I mean, I've always liked it, um, but I never, I wasn't really into antiques, I have to say that, but I like this look. Okay, so that was at the Christmas tree shop. And then I ran into, I ran into Joanne's. All I needed was some white, um, I think these are peonies. Yeah, they're peonies. And I got it for $5 because it was 60% off. So I'm gonna cut the stems off and place them in that big uh, apothecary jar that I have upstairs and take the Tiffany boxes out. Joanne's and Hobby Lobby are the best. I mean, Michael's is good too. They have nice florals to pick from, but they're not always on sale. Or they're, you know, they're bare and the store has nothing in it. Okay, so that was that. Oh, and I ran into Target quickly. I, I bought a couple of tops for my grandkids. They always have the cutest things there. And I saw this little thing from Threshold. It's a little daisy wreath. And I thought of putting a big white satin ribbon around it and letting it hang from one of the hooks from the new shelf I'm gonna put in my bedroom. And this one was $10. So that was cute. Cause it's not easy to find little wreaths. Okay, so one more thing from Burlington Coat Factory. I always run in there looking for baskets and I found this really nice basket. I have one already in the natural uh, wicker. So now I got one in white and isn't it, like it's not easy to find these things here. So this one was $9.99 and you know me, I'll find a place for this. So now we're gonna go into, of course, one of my favorite stores is the Tattered Tulip. What I said last time that I forgot to buy. Oh, there's my birdie, I forgot what it was. So this is a smaller version. I love the big uh, vintage Crocs, but this is a small version and it says White Cottage uh, Stoneware Company. And it was uh, $13.95. So that is the clock. And here's a little bird. And I, guess, I think I might put this in my room with some flowers in it. And then I got a little stone for $2.95. A little stone bird. It's so cute. And see how they wrap the flowers. No matter what flowers you buy. <laughs> They'll wrap it like a bouquet with some twine around it. It looks so pretty. You almost just want to leave it like that. So I bought two little bushes of lavender and I'm going to put them in a jug. Maybe this one, maybe a white milk jug. I'm not sure. And these ones were only like $3.95 a little bunch. And what else did I buy there? Like I said, I usually buy the store out. This time I was very picky. Plus, I have so much of it already and a lot of their stuff was gone like the stuff that I had purchased the time before was gone and they have all new stock and a lot of it's red because of course red white and blue right now and look at this cute cute little riser how sweet is this they had them in different sizes and I got this one this one was $16.95 and one day when I go back I'm gonna buy a couple more maybe a bigger size they have the most beautiful things I'm going to insert a picture of something that I really wanted, but it was a little higher than I wanted to pay. And if you have nothing else to shop for, $60 is really not that bad. It's just that I had, I was on a mission. You, you know, I have a budget, so I wanted to get what I wanted to get. And I didn't want to spend $60 on one thing. And who knows, I might buy it one day or I might just make it because it's not that difficult. And I will insert that picture. So I think that's about it that I got that I can see. Yeah, I did buy a little table for my living room, which I will show you now. So this is a little table that I bought for my living room and made in Mexico, it was at Home Goods, and it was regularly, I think, $60, and it was on clearance for $30. So it's just a white wood base, and then the top is black wood. I probably will paint that white and distress it, or I'll put the mirror, the circle, circular mirror that was on top of my other table. This is the table that's here now and it was brown when I bought it. It was sort of like a storage container and it was okay but I wanted it white but when I painted it white it changed the look of it. It looked like paper mache. It kind of looked homemade, ruined it, 
but I put a mirror on top and I used it for now. Still looks okay, but I wasn't thrilled with it. So hopefully this new little table will look better. I also bought this frame and I, I have many frames, but like with this design, but smaller ones. So I found a really big one and it was $7.99 in Marshalls. So I thought that was good. I think I bought them in Marshalls here or Winners here. And then I got this one as well. And I have one of these and I bought this one in Winners, but they had them there at Marshalls as well. And I think it was like $7 or something. So like they're nice frames, especially with that shabby sheep shabby chic look that I love so much. I found myself at the thrift store today and I didn't really find too much but I found this really cute mini tool box and it was two dollars I think and I will paint that and distress it and use it in my room. Maybe I'll write the word vintage in the front. Not sure yet. How cute is that? Isn't it funny how some people's junk is our treasures? And look at this. I think this is so sweet. I probably had all these kind of things like when I first got married and I probably loved it and then gave it away. Now I like it again. So, you know, it's for a corner unit and I don't really have a corner in my bedroom to, to decorate. So I might just place it like, put it upside down like this on a shelf and maybe put a candle on top. That'd be a cute idea. And that one was $3. So it's right up my alley with all this curly Q wood designs. So also on the Penton farmhouse, this woman has the most gorgeous farmhouse. Anyway, her cousin is Holly Lake and Lace. She has her own YouTube channel and this is where I found out about um, Becca from the Penton farmhouse. And she doesn't do YouTube. She just sometimes will do a tour on her cousin's channel. She does have a beautiful Instagram account. So if you wanna see a beautiful home, go to her account, Penton farmhouse. So what she has in her bedroom, absolutely beautiful. She has the most gorgeous headboard, I guess somebody made for her. And then she's got a whole array of books, vintage, well, not vintage, but pocket books like this. And she lined them all up, not with their, not with this part, like this way. And then she put corbels on the end. So probably has like 50 books on the wall with the corbels at the end and that's why I bought two sets of these because I'm going to copy her it is so cute I'm going to put it on one of my shelves so I don't like used stuff that I don't know where it's been excuse the close-up so I'm going to have to sterilize the books <laughs> I'm really bad with the I hate musty smells and you never know where it's been. So I'm going to lice all the fronts at least and spray the books and leave them outside for a bit. My next video will be hopefully of uh, getting my bedroom refreshed. I'm gonna show you one more thing before so I leave. This is a little shelf. I had purchased something at the thrift shop, but I took it apart. It didn't fit, it was too small. So I took these two corbel sides out because I mean, the unit only cost me $10 and I got these two. Um, I figured it doesn't matter if I throw the rest of it out as long as I keep these two. So what I did was I got some wood cut and I made this shelf here. I haven't put it together yet. I tried nailing it. I made a mess. So I'm gonna wait till my son comes and screws it together for me. And that's gonna be going on my bedroom wall with the three hooks. And my idea is maybe to put a little throw blanket on one side with the wreath um i don't know yet maybe a little basket with some flowers or we'll see i'll surprise you so yeah so i'm going to try to do that video for you for who knows how long it's going to take me to get my son to fix that shelf for me but anyway i will see you later hope hope you have a great week and thanks for watching talk to you later bye for now